my name is Rob from SkidSteerSolutions.com. Just going to give you a quick tip about hydraulic back pressure. Lots of people call us and they say, all right, I got my attachment, it works great, but I, I park it, I leave it, I disconnect my couplers, and when I go to connect it back on again, I can't get the couplers on. Uh, chances are what they've done is they've got a hydraulic cylinder here, and what they, wanna, what they do is when they go to park it, they either run the cylinder back all the way inside uh, so that the nickel's not sticking out, or they go the other way just so that the, the bucket sticks out. And what happens when you do that, if you go all the way and bottom it out, you're actually putting 3,000 PSI of pressure into your cylinder, and then you're disconnecting the couplers and leaving it. So even if you back off slightly, what ends up happening is if you're in a hot uh, area, like down south, uh, the black hoses will absorb heat and they'll build up a little bit of pressure. So there's a couple things you can do to alleviate that. Uh, first thing is when you park anything that has a cylinder, uh, if, if you want to pull it all the way in, that's great, no problem, just because you want to protect the nickel here. But what you want to do is bring it all the way in and then hit the controls the opposite direction just for a split second. And that'll equalize the pressure in the cylinder so that there's no um, built up pressure on one side or the other. The other thing you want to do is when you go to disconnect it, uh, on Bobcats what they have here is a little pressure disconnect. So when you push in like this, what that does is it actually bleeds off some of the pressure from the hoses. And you want to do both of them. You want to do the top one, do the bottom one, and I go back and forth a couple of times even. Then disconnect them. Now what that does is there should now be no pressure in here. But if you're in a, an area where there's a lot of heat, the other thing you can do is just put the, put the fittings together and just push them together. And what that does now is even if the, you get a little bit of temperature build up here in the hoses, it will equalize inside the hoses between the piston and the rod side of the cylinder. So now no matter how much, how much temperature rises here, they're going to equalize. So when you go to, you disconnect them here and you go to put them back on your machine, everything's going to go back together easily.